Pekko, is it you? Hey, what are you being quiet for? They're accusing you of being the killer. Then I should ask you this. Why do you believe I'm the killer? Cause man, your body was all wet when you walked up in the diner, girl. I remember when we were all meeting up to go to the beach. Your appearance when you came to the diner. I felt like I remarked on this before when I said, is it possible that she went, killed somebody, took a dip, and came back? I was kind of joking at that time, but I guess... Uh. Anyways, Hajime and Kazuchi, why are you two here? Hey, why are you breathing so heavily? I just did a little swimming. If the killer really did wash the blood off with water box, they'd have to drench their entire body. But there were no towels in the beach house, and it would have taken a while for the water to fully air dry. So you said you went swimming so you'd have a cover story. Uh, hey man, I still don't think it's her if that serves anything right. She did say she went to the other beach. Don't just stay silent. Say something. Hold on, you bastard. You saw her at the diner. You never saw her near the beach house, right? Ooh, somebody got a crush. So maybe she really was swimming. No one even saw her swimming. No. I saw her. Huh? Uh, after I ran into you bastards at the diner, I crossed paths with her on my way home. So, so there's no doubt. She would have arrived at the diner from the opposite direction of the beach house. Hold on. That's strange. Didn't you just say this earlier? It's just a coincidence that I passed by the diner. I didn't even pay attention to the beach house. I went straight back to the hotel after I saw you guys. I didn't see anyone during that time. Oh, shit! You told me you didn't see anyone. Don't try to tell me you forgot about that. <clears throat> Damn. Sh -sh 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 Shut down. Not so fast. It's too soon to decide she's a killer. Somebody got a crush. We haven't established how the killer was able to leave the beach house. Now that you mention it, you're right. The roadside door was blocked. And if it's impossible to leave from the beachside without leaving footprints, then how the fuck did the killer escape? Um, why are you all fired up, Fuyuhiko? You're not the suspect. Becco is. Who cares about that? Answer me! If you have an explanation, then show me what you got! We might have an answer. Huh? Do you really? This mystery seems unsolvable. Well, if Peko is the killer, then I might just have an answer to that mystery. I see. Then let's hear this alleged method of escaping the beach house. First, let's establish how the killer escaped. Killer escape route. I might know what it is. In fact, the only person I think possibly think of oh, is fucking small window. If the roadside and beachside doors aren't an option, the only other thing I can think of is... Well, nothing really. Except that small window in the shower room. <laughs> Don't you know how high that window is? There's no way Peko could have reached it. But, but what if, for instance, she got help from someone? She might have reached it by riding someone's shoulders, but then that person would have been left behind. Is it possible an object was used? A rope, for instance? And what happened to the rope after they used it? And don't say something stupid like they threw it outside! Of course not! That would violate the school trip rule! Rule 3! Littering is not allowed when it's coexist on an island with bountiful nature and mutual prosperity. Littering is prohibited! Even if it might be evidence, rules are still rules. You see? There's no way they'd be able to escape from that window. No, they just have to use an object. Chiaki, don't fall asleep on us. We just said they couldn't use an object. You did? I thought you were saying they couldn't dispose of an object. Damn, she hitting you with facts. I see. You don't have to throw it away if you can just hide it somewhere on your body. Huh? Pekka was wearing a swimsuit, remember? Where would she even hide an object? And if you say she hid it in her special place, I'll stab you in yours! I actually was... Damn it. 
I didn't say it out loud, but I was thinking of it. I was saying, should I remark on it? She caught me. Shit. No! Please don't be violent! Even if the killer used an object to escape out the window, they would have been able to get rid of it. So the only thing I can think of is that the killer must have hit it somewhere. If that's the case... Focus and think. The object the killer used to escape the window. Hangman's Gambit. Oh man, we're not gonna get this. Alright, wait, hold up. Wait, 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 wait. Object they used to escape the window. Like what? Fucking... Is there... Hold up. I don't know. Oh, it starts with a B. Okay, that's good. Uh... Bam. Oops. My bad. B. M. Nope. I don't know what the hell they want from me. B A B aggressive B E aggressive Nope Maybe a W Fuck Oh no Bam Bam, 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 Nope. I'm trying to save the- I gotta save the D! Sorry, D, I can't save you. Oh, wait, I did. Shit. Damn it, this is gonna ruin me. Hmm. Okay. What? I'm confused here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are you telling me that the answer is a bamboo sword? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I need an R. Not an R, what am I saying? I need a W. What the hell's wrong with me? Give me a W so I can spell sword. Oops, shit. I was trying to pick it up and like move it. Damn it. Why the fuck did I do that? I needed that. Good job, me. A fucking piece of shit. Where's the other W? Thank you. I'm sorry. Can I not spell the word sword? What is wrong with me? I'm gonna lose this hangman's gambit. In like two seconds. There we go. I got it. Don't know why it took me so long to do that. Echo, you carry that bamboo sword on your back at all times, right? If I recall correctly, you had it then too. The 
despite the fact that you had a swimsuit on, you were still wearing your bamboo sword. Uh, are you saying she used that bamboo sword to escape through the window? Yeah. Heko used that bamboo sword as a step stool and escaped out the window. A uh, sword as a step stool? You see? I knew it! I knew it was a ninja! Didn't I tell ya? A ninja could have climbed that easily! Ninjas know a climbing trick where they lean their sword against a wall and use the handguard as a step stool. Whoa! Just like a Japanese ninja! Miss Sonia, ninjas only exist in Japan. Well, it is a bamboo sword, but I'm sure a slender girl like Peko could easily use it to climb. Well, Peko, do you have anything to say? Yeah, anything to say besides it's not you, because I don't... It is a reasonable argument, but could it really be Peko? Now that the time has come once again for a panic attack. Oh shit, really? Alright, I'm sorry, I'm just. Hold on a sec, you bastard! You're saying she used her sword as a step stool and went out the fucking window? Then what about the sword? It would have been left in the shower room and she wouldn't have been able to recover it, dumbass! Fuyuhiko? Why do you even care? Shut up! Just shut the fuck up and answer me! If you have an answer, then fucking give it to me! If she used the bamboo sword as a step stool, it would have been left behind! Fihiko, why? Why are you... Come on, man. Stop letting your dick do the thinking for you. Got proof, you bastard? That's obviously impossible! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Don't fuck with me! Got proof, you bastard! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Don't fuck with me! Got proof, you bastard! That's obviously no. impossible! Bastard! Got proof, you bastard! I'll sell your fucking organs! You're pissing me off! You're pissing me off! Bastard! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Got proof, you bastard! That's obviously impossible! Shut up! Shut up! Shut! If she used the bad uh, sword as a step shit. Tool, it would have been left behind! Uh, bag, bamboo sword. Oh shit, it's the other way around. It's bamboo sword bag. Shit! I panicked. I panicked during the panic talk action. No, 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 I got it. I got it. I know. I know. I know. I know. You're saying she used you. Just gotta feel the rhythm of the beat. Got proof, you bastard! That's obviously impossible! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Don't fuck with me! Got proof, you bastard! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Don't fuck with me! Got proof, you bastard! That's obviously impossible! Bastard! Got proof, you bastard! I'll sell your fucking organs! You're pissing me off! You're pissing me off! Bastard! I missed. I had a 70 hit combo. Got proof, you bastard! That's obviously impossible! Shit. Shut up! Shut up! Okay. Uh, bamboo, sword, bag. This is the end! Can't believe Peko's the killer. Sometimes I say random shit. Sometimes it turns out to be true. Hey, who knows? She used her bamboo sword as a step stool. She could have recovered it with her sword back. When she leaned her sword against the wall to use as a step stool, she tied her sword back to it. And after she climbed up to the window, as long as she hauled the bag up toward her, she would have been able to recover her bamboo sword. Oh, I see. 
Not just the bamboo sword, but even the sword bag, too. She used them both to escape. Hakane said she's like a ninja, but it's nothing as silly as that. Simply put, only Pekko could have performed this feat. An escape plan befitting of the ultimate swordswoman. Even so, how disappointing. If you'd only let me work with you, it would have been an even greater plan. No, oh, you just back off! Uh, um, is it true? Did you really kill Makino? Uh, hold on! You're just making assumptions! You, you don't have any proof. I won't accept this unless there's proof! Got it, you bastard! It's fine. Huh? I said it's fine. Saying anything more would just be an exercise in futility. She admitted it just now? Right? She admitted she's Miharu's killer. But is this right? Even though Fihiko was the one arguing for us, I mean with us, Pekko just admitted it so freely. Flowers, the cherry blossom, among men, the samurai. I commend your decisiveness, at least. Very well. If you admit it, this ends now. Let's cast our votes. Agreed. Hurry up and vote. Uh, hold on. Let me confirm one thing first. Can it wait until after the voting? This is important, and it relates to the voting. It's about Pekko's motive. My motive? In the end, you had no connection to the events depicted in Twilight Syndrome murder case, right? Then, why did you kill Mahiru? Hmm. So it's about that. Let's see. If I must answer that question... I'm part of the Kazuryu clan, too! I must say... It was for the sake of justice. Oh. She's the secret justice lord? Is that what's happening now? Is this... Why is it always the girls with the glasses who are always the ones who are the murderers? I don't fucking understand this. Justice? In order to... protect the justice of this world. I do not sully my hands to satisfy personal grudges. There is only one reason I kill. For the sake of protecting justice. You... What are you saying? Justice is what makes humans human. It's a virtue that human beings should be proud of. Justice is the eternal sun. And the enduring moon. The protective father. And the smiling mother. Uh, hello! Earth to Pekko! If justice ever disappeared from this world, the world would immediately freeze, and people's smiles would vanish. I will not allow that. It's, it's fine, just stop it. Justice must always be there to guide us, to shine bright above our heads. I'm telling you to stop it! So I must fight. I must continue to fight to protect justice. This is... could she be... As the light of justice shines upon my mask, I expose the hearts of malevolent evil. Justice complete! What the fuck am I looking at? The center of justice that is pierced by justice. The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky. That would be me. Sparkling justice! I thought she would say it in Japanese. She's like, Sparkling Justaru! Or some shit like that. I'm like, the fuck? Now then, let's execute justice! <laughs> what? What the fuck? You and me both, Kazuchi. Me and you both. Pego, what are you doing? I am Sparkling Justice. In the name of Sparkling Shining Justice. I have come to deliver justice! What's going on? What's this... chill? Uh, 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 Pekko! Finally snapped! Everyone, please be careful! Sparkling Justice is a serial killer who claims to be an ally of justice! Clad in her various hero masks, 
She is a serial killer who exclusively targets other criminals. She is supposed to be... But... Huh? An ally of justice? So that's why you're wearing a mask! This mask is the dividing line. Just like various idols, the sun is revered because it lies just beyond your grasp. Justice should also be the same. I, I don't get it, but... But this is becoming really crazy! Just execute her. She's done. It's over. What? What the hell is this? Pecco's the killer. Why is it turning out like this? This is turning out to be a surprising turn of events! <sighs> hey! Now's not the time for you to be sleeping! Take a look! It's a killer! <sighs> this again? <laughs> uh, Monica was like, really? We did this in the first game, guys. Huh? Sleep talking? So what's your answer to my previous question? Why did you kill Mahiru? This world must always be bathed in the light of justice. I must not allow even one shadow. Evil must be eliminated immediately. No matter what. I must not overlook evil. Evil? Are you saying Mahiru is- If you knew about that incident, then you must have played the game. Am I right? And because of that, I was able to find the killer's accomplice hiding on this island like a sewer rat. Then, the reason you killed Mahiru was- To protect justice, of course. In order to protect justice, I have become its merciless sword. And executed justice. Holy crap! She's such a stereotypical psychopath! <laughs> She's so gross! Pecco, is this your true identity? My true identity? <laughs> I have already forgotten who I am. It just shows my determination. My determination to protect by throwing away what's most important. I'm willing to become anybody to shower this world with justice! <laughs> oh, I can't stand this anymore! Let's just end this farce already! End it? He's right. This, we need to end this already. The killer, in the end, there's no mistake that it was Pekka all along. Let's go over this incident one more time and then let's end this. Alright, let's see what we got here. There is a... Uh, Hmm. I'm gonna say this goes here. Uh, not there. That's surprising. Then it probably goes here. Nope. Uh, then it goes here. All right. Uh, which way does the thing goes? Goes from right to left. All right. We have the uh, water bottles. So, here.
You really tell me that this doesn't belong here? Okay. Well, that's stupid. Then I guess, uh... I guess here? Okay, so this belongs here. There we go. that happened in this case. The incident began this morning when Mahiru spoke to Hyoko. Mahiru most likely played Twilight Syndrome Murder Case, the video game provided to us as the motive. She probably wanted to discuss it with someone else who also appeared in the game as a character. Hyoko accepted Mahiru's invitation, and they promised to have a more detailed conversation about it later. However, Someone else overheard their exchange. The killer. The killer eavesdropped on their conversation and used their promise to devise a specific murder plan. By preparing a specific item, they plan to manipulate the two's actions. That item was the letters. They sent fake letters to both Mahiru and Hyoko. The letter Mahiru received told her to come to the beach house at 2.30 p.m. And the letter Hyoko received told her to come to the beach house at exactly 2 p.m. By providing different times, the killer was able to lure them to the beach house separately. Hyoko totally trusted that letter, showed up at the beach house at 2 p.m. just like it said, and was drugged into unconsciousness by the killer lying in wait. After putting Hyoko to sleep, the killer immediately hid her inside the closet, so they could frame her as the killer later. At 2.30 p.m., Mahiru arrived at the beach house. She was completely unaware that she had been targeted for murder. Approaching her from behind, the killer struck the defenseless Mahiru with a specific weapon, the metal bat that was left at the scene of the crime. The bat was brought down onto the back of Mahiru's head, and with that, she took her last breath. According to Mikan's autopsy, Mahiru died instantly, so she probably never knew who killed her. With that, the killer achieved their goal of killing Mahiru and began to tamper with the crime scene. They dragged Mahiru's body so that it blocked the door leading to the road. Also, the mask found at the scene of the crime was something the killer personally left. I'm not really sure why. My guess is, it's something similar to a calling card. That's how the crime scene we discovered was created. However, by moving Mahiru's body, the killer got blood splatter on them. Plus, the shower room had no water because it was out of order, so they couldn't wash it off. But the killer expected something like that to happen. Instead of the shower, the killer used something else to wash the blood off their body. They used plastic water bottles that were inside the beach house refrigerator. We can assume they carried the bottles to the shower room before the sequence of events had happened. In place of showering, they washed the blood off their body with water bottles instead. However, they had no choice but to dispose of the empty bottles in the beach house's trash can. Littering is against the rules, and it would have taken too much time to throw them away somewhere else. After the killer washed off the blood, they hid in a specific spot inside the closet Hyoko was in. The killer hid inside the surfboard case that they had already emptied beforehand. After some time had passed, the sleeping drug used on Hyoko wore off, and she woke up. I can imagine how badly Hyoko must have panicked when she came out of the closet. I mean, she made plans to see Mahiru, who lay dead right in front of her. From the shock and panic of being considered a murder suspect, 
Kyoko fled from the beach house. Because of that, she left footprints in the sand. Everything was a trap set by the killer to frame her. After Hyoko left, the killer finally came out of the surfboard case and placed a gummy that they brought with them to shift our suspicion toward Hyoko. Ironically, placing that gummy is what helped clear our suspicion toward Hyoko. Finally, the killer began preparing to escape from the beach house. They couldn't risk leaving their footprints in the sand, so they escaped the beach house using a different route. The small window in the shower room. However, that window is rather high up and can't be reached easily, which is why the killer used the bamboo sword they always carry with them. The killer took the bamboo sword out of its bag, tied the bag to the sword's handle, and used the sword as a step stool to reach the small window while holding the sword bag in their hand. As long as they're able to reach the window, all they had to do was pull the bag to retrieve the sword. And so the killer left the beach house and appeared before us as if nothing had happened. But their wet hair and swimsuit didn't dry right away. There also weren't any towels at the beach house. So when the killer met up with us, they said they had been swimming for a while as an excuse. So how about it? This is the truth behind the incident you caused. Isn't that right, Heko Peko Yama? I see. Damn, girl, you done fucked up. And what of it? She's like, totally cool with it. I haven't done anything to be ashamed of. What are you saying? You killed Mahiru! Wrong! I punished evil in the name of justice! That's no reason to condemn me! Whatever! Let's hurry up and vote so we can freaking kill this weird crazy bitch! There's no way you can kill me. Justice can never be killed. You should all know that as well. What are you saying? To protect what's most <laughs> What the fuck was that about? You must be prepared <laughs> to throw away something equally important. Man, what was that about? I skipped it by accident because I thought he was finished, but Gundam's like, What are you saying? Understand? I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Then I shall be direct. Justice must carry on in order to keep justice. To keep me alive, you all must give up your lives. Are you serious? It's not serious. It's justice! If I fall here, who will combat the evils of this world? Now, follow your hearts of justice that reside within you all, and save my life to protect justice! Hurry, and carry on justice! Give me a break! Who's gonna die for you? If we let Peko go, we're all gonna get killed! For the sake of grand justice, a few sacrifices are unavoidable. A few sacrifices? <laughs> Don't worry. The justice that you give your life to protect will never go to waste. I can't her anymore. Let's vote already and execute her. Um, however, before we do that, Monokuma, the vote! Hurry up and let us vote already! I'm awake! Ah, he finally woke up! I heard your story! Well, I wasn't listening, but who cares? Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote! Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? <laughs> Such heart pounding excitement! Damn, Pekko. You know, when I said, when I said, when I said that shit earlier where I'm like she probably hopped in the ocean to go and cover up her murders and shit I was kind of just Marty, joking can we please have a little more time what what the hell do you want now Sonia um pardon me can we have a little bit more time 
please let us continue our discussion? Continue our discussion? But isn't the voting over? Yes, but I cannot help but feel strange. Something about this is definitely strange. Huh? Strange? What do you mean? There's no doubt that Peko is the killer. That is true. However... As a serial killer enthusiast, you're wondering if Peko is really sparkling justice, am I right? Huh? Hey, Miss Sonia isn't a serial killer enthusiast. She just has a little more passion about them than most. That makes her an enthusiast! Honestly, it felt strange to me too. I mean... There's a distinct difference between what we know about Sparkling Justice and Petco, right? Distinct difference? You know, Sonya describes Sparkling Justice like this. Justice complete! The center of justice that is pierced by justice! The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky! That would be me, Sparkling Justice! The heck was that? Sparkling Justice catchphrase. An unknown serial killer has a catchphrase. I read it in a magazine in the library. There has only ever been one person, a journalist, who has interviewed Sparkling Justice. The article was written in their native language, so I translated it. I see, so that's what it was. I think I've got the difference between the serial killer and Pekka. Their nationality! I see! That's right. According to what Sonia said... The article was written in their native language, so I tried to translate it. If she had it translated, that means it wasn't written in English, right? Huh? Yes, the magazine I read was written in Spanish. So... Sparkling Justice's catchphrase was no doubt written in Spanish as well. Which means the journalist and Sparkling Justice are both... From Spain? What? At this time, I completely misunderstood. When I first heard about those serial killers, Genocide Jack and Sparkling Justice, I just assumed both serial killers were from the same country. But that wasn't the case. If so... You're not sparkling justice. There's no way that's possible. Or, if you insist that you're sparkling justice, can you try saying that catchphrase in Spanish? Would you be able to do that? It appears that the time has come for this mask to come off. However, that's perfectly fine. It's no longer necessary. And... Even if you find out now, it's too late for you all to do anything about it. My duty has already been finished. My duty as a tool has already been completed in full. Were you the traitor? She's back to normal? That mask has fulfilled its purpose. Just as I have. What do you mean? Fulfilled its purpose? Too late? What are you getting at? Now that you've already cast your votes, is what it means. Hey! Be clearer! We're asking you what your purpose was! I have no purpose. I am just a mere tool. T tool what do you mean? She called herself a tool. Which means someone else used her then? <laughs> of course. A tool cannot do anything on its own. I see. I finally understand. Well, I did have a sneaking suspicion all along. What do you mean? I mean, besides Petko and Yoko, someone else was also at the beach house. S someone else? There is proof that establishes that fact. Try to remember it. Yeah, the serial killer wasn't... Yeah, it wasn't part of the body discovery announcement. I see! We still didn't solve who the third person was. Talking about the body discovery announcement? Yep, that's right. I mean, didn't Monokuma say so earlier? 
So what about this time? Is it three people including the killer or not? Jeez, fine, fine. You want me to say it? It doesn't include the killer this time, okay? All done. That announcement is made when at least three people discover a body. And in this particular case, the killer, Pecco, is not one of those three. If that's the case, it would mean only Hyoko and Kazuichi discovered the body, but... I see. That leaves us one person short. So that means there was one more person in the beach house! Plus, the fact that Monokuma tried to hide that truth from us by being flexible with his own rules. That's such a vital clue that it could alter the outcome of the trial. Like an accomplice, for example. No. That's not it. Huh? Am I wrong? Yes. From your basic way of thinking about it, you are wrong. Didn't I tell you? I'm just a tool. That means I'm just a simple tool to be used by that person. Therefore, that person would have the strongest motive out of anybody else here, right? What? Fihiko? You're the only one! Is it Fuyuhiko? I see. Now I finally see the connection. The connection between the motive and the incident. But even if it's the motive, it's just a game, right? There's no reason to believe it's even true. Would you call a game like that a strong motive? No, the events that occurred in the game should have definitely occurred in real life. You know, if the winning prize had the pictures of the dead people and the things like that. Yep, overwhelming proof. Here we go. I can prove it with this. I didn't think it was necessary to confirm it if it didn't have anything to do with Mahiru's murder, but there's no doubt that game is based on actual events. That much is clear if you saw the ending prize. The photos awarded for beating the game are not actual in-game screenshots. They're all actual photos with the surrounding scenery cropped out. You knew all along, Fuyuhiko, didn't you? You knew whether or not the first victim in the game was actually your little sister, right? Because whoever beat the game first received the ending prize. Hey, what's that envelope? What's inside? Shut up. It makes you think you have a right to question me. It was the envelope, right? The person who received the ending prize. It was you, wasn't it? If you were shown a photograph of your sister's dead body, you'd have no choice but to believe it. Even so, you wanted to deny the truth. That's why you sent those photos to Mahiru to confirm it. Hey! Why are we talking about Fuyuhiko? Who cares? Cause... Echo is the killer, right? But Fuyuhiko's the mastermind. But we already voted! That's why I told you. You're all too late. As I said before, I exist as nothing more than a tool. I had no motive for killing Mahiru. No reason to kill. Not even the will to kill. I was simply used as a tool. As long as I am a tool, I cannot defy my orders. Hey! What's going on? Can anyone give me a simpler explanation? It means I'm not the killer. The true killer, who used me as their weapon to kill Mahiru Koizumi, was Fuyuhiko Kuzuryu. What? What the hell? I see. That's what you were aiming for all along. No. I have no aim, but my young master does. My young master planned this from the start. Young master? That is the truth of this case. I'm sure you realize it by now, but it's too late. You cannot undo the vote. That's a problem. If 
Echo's allegation holds up, that means our vote was incorrect. In that case, the person who gets to live is... Just... me? That's nuts! No matter how you look at it, that's completely insane! How would Peko be a tool in the first place? Peko is a legitimate human being! That's not for you to decide. It's for Monokuma. The votes have been cast. All we can do now is wait and see what Monokuma decides. What the hell? So we lost. Oh shit. Wait, Logic and Action were kind? Why are they... Wait, what? Why are they kind? <laughs>